hello to quick for you here again I'm going to talk to you about 360 content manager version 3.0 why noobs need it and why anybody needs it it's your best friend that's a lot of cool things and we're going to talk about that right now so first you need to download 360 content manager 3.0 and you're going to open it up and launch it now for right now I'm just going to shove this to the side talk to you about some other things here. What I've got here on my desktop is let's go like this. This is an arcade game. It's Tetris Splash. I've got here a GOD Fallout New Vegas. I've got a title update here for Fallout New Vegas. And I've got a DLC for Fallout New Vegas. I've also got an optional iPod support update and an optional media support update here. This one here is for uh, so your MP4s and your movies will play on your console. So what you want to do, i got all this stuff here, and you're thinking, where the hell do I put this shit? Well, Content Manager is really easy to use. It's, it's uh, noob-friendly, so what you do is you take all this shit and put it into a folder. You can name the folder anything you want. I'm going to just you can name it Bird, B-I-R-D, whatever you want to name it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take all this stuff. That I want to put on my RGH or JTAG console and I'm going to throw it in that folder. Okay. Now we're going to pull up our content manager again. Let me make this a little smaller so you guys can see it all. Okay, when it opens up, at the top there's two little gears with your settings. Click on that. And by the way, you need to have your console turned on and in XEX menu or in Freestyle Dash and hook to the, your network with an ethernet cable don't use wireless man wireless sucks uh, if you try to transfer anything that's big like a game using wireless bad wireless bad ethernet cable good all right so we're going to go to folders and we're going to navigate to that folder we made and we called it bird and we hit ok now we're going to our ftp tab we're going to put in our ip address and I think mine is 33 and we're going to hit test and it says connection to FSD successful so we know we're in there we're going to hit save now if you notice everything didn't show up because things are in folders it doesn't see so you hit to F4 and look now everything shows up okay so now we can look at things here I'm going to talk to you a little bit about content manager and let's see what things are so let's start with this right here this title update you click on it and it comes down and it tells you it's Fallout New Vegas TU5. Here's your title ID and here's your media ID. For those people that need media IDs for the title updates, this is how you get the media or the media IDs of them. And now I'm going to come down and I'm going to look at the GOD of Fallout New Vegas. Now see it says Game on Demand. It's a GOD is Game on Demand, by the way. And here's your media ID. Media ID is 6474 blah 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 C. Now I'm going to make sure I got the proper title update for that. I'm going to click on that and see if the media ID matches. Alright, the next thing you want to look for is if it's been locked. Now, this is Tetris Splash. It's unlocked. Um, that's unlocked. That's unlocked. Now, if any of these say locked, all you have to do is check the box here. Go up here to the little lock. Click on it and hit path and then it's going to see it says result successful close it and now we're back and if it was locked before it'll show up as unlocked now so you make sure you can un that's what's cool about this tool is you can unlock things uh, pre before you can put on your console alright so basically content manager will move anything that's a GOD uh, title updates anything that's part of the normal operating system of, of uh, 360 console now it's not going to move patches it's not going to see or move game files because those aren't part of the natural operating system of the Xbox it only sees the, the natural stuff so we can move game file or excuse me GODs we can move title updates we can move DLCs we can move all that stuff so I want to move this stuff to my console so what you have to do is you got to check all these now I'm not gonna sit here and, and watch a whole game transfer because it takes a little bit so I'm gonna uncheck the Fallout Vegas game 
because it takes a little while. To, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. You'd be here forever watching me. So I'm going to move the the Tetris game, the TU for the Vegas game, then the two optional media supports. So after you get those checked, I'm going to click on this button and hit upload. Now I've already got some of these on my console and it's telling me they're there, but I'm going to tell it to override because I'm trying to show you guys. And that fast, it just moved the title update and the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to start to move the game and then we'll just uh, go from there. Now I'm going to uncheck the other things because we don't want to check the things you want to move. Uh, I'm trying to get, this this here does a lot of different stuff. You need to investigate, play with it, but this is a cool thing because this thing knows where things go. It puts them in there for you. You don't have to dig around in FileZilla or on your console trying to figure out, well, where does this game go? Because I'm going to show you something here. When you make a G.O.D. out of Fallout New Vegas, this is, or even um, the Tetris Splash, we'll go into Tetris Splash. You get this. This number right here. Now, you don't know what that is. The Xbox knows what it is, but you don't. Well, we'll see. Content Manager knows what it is knows where to put it. Same with the um, Fallout New Vegas uh, Dead Money DLC. Well, I know it goes into content all zeros and then here's the number that number represents the game if you come back here and you come back here to um, Fallout New Vegas see the title ID 425307E0 well this DLC goes in that same folder and the DLC goes in this folder now if you go back to the real game the GOD of Fallout New Vegas. Again, there's that folder we're talking about here. And then this folder represents where your game on demand goes. And there's your GOD inside there. So the tool does all this for you. You don't have to even mess with it. So let's start uploading the. Um, how much time I have left? Let's start uploading that, that GOD. And then I can talk to you why it's going. All right. If you notice, it's going in pieces. See, it says game chunk one or three. So basically, you can take any folder you want on your desktop or wherever, fill it with whatever you want to send to your console. Title updates, DLCs, GODs, media updates, all that stuff. Just throw it in a folder. It doesn't have to be in your organized. Just throw it in there. Don't worry. Content manager will sort it out for you, and will upload it for you. And, and when it's done, you're done. There's no more messing around. Um, it's kind of a cool tool. There are other other tools that can do this too, but this seems to be the, the easiest one to use. Um, other than that, uh, play around with it, have fun with it, and uh, we'll see you.